At the source of all life, there is water. On Mars, where it is rare, water is a source of conflict, struggle, and death. Since the turmoil, there have been unending wars, fought over the possession of clean water. We are the forgotten children of Earth, trapped in this red, barren wasteland. Here, hell is not a concept, it's our reality. And I would know. Of course, in despair, there is hope. Some have begun to explore, travel even, from corporation to corporation, leaving their loyalties behind. We have organization, structure, and inevitably, politics. We have rulers, a people's assembly, and far removed from us, the Dowser, the inaccessible face of abundance. And finally, there's us, the elite protectors of the people, the spearhead of the army, my brothers and sisters who all share the same special gift. We are Technomancers. Hello everyone, today we're traveling to Mars with the sci-fi action RPG The Technomancer. You are Zachariah, and you're about to begin your journey as the most gifted rookie Technomancer from Abundance, a powerful corporation. Technomancers are formidable warriors who harness destructive electrical powers channeled through their implants. As you create your character and its appearance, you'll choose your starting talents and attributes. You'll be able to specialize in one of the three combat stances in Technomancy or become an all-rounder. Whether you become a charismatic warrior adept of the Technomancer powers and the noble staff fighting, a shady rogue dabbling in poison daggers, trickery and stealth, or a crafty soldier fighting with a shield and able to upgrade and improve his weapons, there's plenty of character progression to make you and your story unique. Your journey starts in Ophir, capital of abundance erected from the remains of the first human settlements in Ophir Chasma. Led by a totalitarian regime and the ASC, its secret police, it is one of the oldest cities on Mars and one of the last remaining bastions of humanity. But you'll visit many other locations, from the abandoned Earth domes to legendary cities that you'll be able to travel to thanks to your trusty rover. Thanks for the thanks, but it doesn't change the fact I still want to see your head on a stake at some point. Mars is a dangerous place with deadly threats lurking in every corner. You'll fight other human survivors, such as the underworld mobs in the slums of Ophir, the ASC agents hurting you, the technomancers from rival corporation Aurora, and mutants whose DNA degenerated after being exposed to solar radiations, and who are now living as outcasts. But you'll also face much more fearsome enemies in the form of many hybrid creatures roaming the canyons of Mars. Originally bioengineered by the first settlers from the genetic makeup of animals found on Earth, their mutations have since grown out of control. The harsh living conditions on Mars led these creatures to develop effective defense mechanisms. Poison, camouflage, brute force. They will aggressively defend their territory should you trespass. Master one or all of the combat stances. Staff, blade with gun or mace with shield. Each has its own skill tree where you can improve your existing skills or gain new ones by allocating XP you earn during your adventure. The staff combat is based on mobility and area damage using sweet moves and blows, effective against groups of enemies. Fighting with the blade and gun requires agility and careful dodging. The blade can poison enemies while the nail gun lets you control the pace of the combat. Finally, the mace and shield combat stance focuses on defense blocking and parrying the last second to stagger enemies and inflict heavy damage. It's also important to remember you may change stance during the fight. But let's not forget you're a Technomancer. Whichever combat stance you prefer, you can combine it with your electrical powers. Electrify your weapons to boost its damage and disruption ability. Form a magnetic shield around you to boost your defense, directly attack with powerful arcs or enter overload. Your Technomancy powers are what sets you apart and will be an incredible asset in combat. Your skills in combat will only get you so far, 
The crafting system will let you upgrade your equipment thanks to spare parts found while exploring, looted from enemies or salvaged from unwanted pieces of gear. You will be able to improve damage, resistance, as well as add various special effects such as disruption, resistance to specific damage types, energy regeneration and more. Improving your crafting talent and learning new construction plans will let you craft more powerful gear. The Technomancer offers up to 40 hours worth of quests, most of which can be solved in different ways. Here, we're trying to meet the boss Sorry, of the Vori. The problem is the door to his office is guarded and their leader won't let you enter without a pass. You can decide to simply force your way in, but you'll have to face many enemies at once in a tough battle. And it might also degrade your reputation with the Vori. You can also play the trick card, stealing the required pass from a lone guard to turn it into the guard or take a stealthy approach using your lockpicking and stealth skills to find another way in. The quests in the Technomancer often let you decide how to accomplish them with up to five different ways. You'll be faced with a lot of difficult decisions along your journey and each of them will have an impact on the world, its inhabitants, your relationship with the factions at play, but also with your companions. Eventually, your choices and playstyle will impact your story, the fate of your companions and the destiny of Mars and its inhabitants. All of your companions have their own mood, preferences and moral code. Act too much against the beliefs of one of them and they might leave the group. So be careful because while your companions will be helpful during the fights, they also help you during exploration with passive skills. Everyone in the Embark road. upon your epic journey later this year with the Technomancer.